to show you the experiment PAM pulse amplitude modulation and day modulation so first I will write the circuit diagram so before this uh, these are the components required for this experiment this is BC107 in pin transistor and these are the registers we require so 1 kilo ohms 2 registers 2.2k 470 and 2 capacitors 0.1 microfarad that is 104 2 capacitors so before this I will write the circuit diagram and meanwhile I will show you how to identify the leads of the transistors here it is a notch from the notch it is important you have to go through the clockwise leading this uh, leads facing towards you clockwise emitter base and collector I will write as it is here from the notch it is a clockwise you have to go EBC terminals clockwise from the notch it is emitter next base next collector clockwise you have to move so you have to hold transistor like this so emitter base collector it is a n-pin transistor BC107 just I will write the circuit diagram for the PAM just NPN transistor this is emitter this is base and this is collector here at the base you have to give two inputs through two registers it is a shorting point it is one kilo ohm registers and at the collector you have to apply VCC 12 volts DC through the resistor 2.2k that the emitter register is 470 ohms 470 ohms and you have to take output at the emitter here you will get a PAM output here message signal you need to apply that is a sine wave here carrier signal that is a train of pulse or you can apply square wave carrier signal message signal frequency you can keep around 500 hertz of message signal here here 5 kilohertz amplitude get greater than 5 volts peak to peak here it is less than 5 volts peak to peak of message signal message signal 500 hertz less than 5 volts peak to peak carrier 5 kilohertz greater than 5 volts carrier you can apply a train of pulse or you can apply a square wave message signal it is a sine wave there are two 1 kilo registers with respect to ground you have to apply the signal I will show you how to apply this is emitter base and collector it is a 2.2k 470 ohms it is 0.1 microfarad 104 so this is a modulation circuit first I will show you how to do the modulation then we will go for the demodulation circuit so this is a DC power supply I am taking this is emitter from emitter there is a 470 ohms it has been grounded and one capacitor I have connected to any open end of the breadboard this is a base terminal base I have connected to the two 1 kilo ohm registers this is a path and 1 kilo ohm one end it is open later on we can apply message signal and one end other end is also open to apply the carrier signal so this is emitter base and collector I have connected to 2.2k register that is been connected to VCC and it is common terminal of the power supply it is been grounded so this is common ground and it this line is VCC now I will apply the message signal and carrier signal so message signal as I told you can keep frequency below 500 hertz up to 500 hertz So 
so it is 2k range it is 500 hertz 0.5k 500 hertz and it is 5 kilo ohms carrier now taken one probe we'll apply the message signal it is common ground it is a message signal message signal now for carrier i'll take one more probe and from the one more fg is a common ground another end of register hmm. see here it is message and it is carrier now i'll take output across capacitor at the emitter side and see here one channel the common ground capacitor connected the output I will switch on the power supply you can see here spam output is coming here on one channel another channel will go to the dual channel dual channel I will take another probe dual channel mode I will connect message signal this is a common terminal Run. I will connect message signal where I applied message signal at that point you have to connect this probe hmm. we are getting panting that is about the message signal and below is a pan signal the carrier imposing will be there Camp signal. Here you are getting flat, eh? so you can adjust the amplitude so that you can remove the flat. Mm. So this is a PAM signal and it is a message signal. As the definition indicates that amplitude of the pulse is varied in accordance with the message signal. We have applied constant amplitude of pulse, so it is varying accordingly to the, your message signal. the circuit just it is a simple uh, RC, RC filter capacitor you take 0.1 microfarad capacitor that is 104 register variable you have to take DRB here you have to apply input is PAM signal is input for this output of this you can call it as a M dash T or recovered message signal here message signal what you applied is m of t it is you can call it as a m dash t so how to find out the value of r drb is very simple r is equal to 1 over 2 pi fmc fm means what cutoff you have to take the same frequency as you kept at message signal frequency message signal frequency now are tuned around 440 hertz 440 so I am taking FM as 440 Hertz and C value is 0.1 microfarad and I will find out the value of R by using this formula 1 by 2 pi FM C C is 0.1 microfarad FM is 440 and find out the value of R and keep it in DRB mm. divided by 2 into pi fm is 440 hertz c is 0.1 microfarad and a 6 the r value what uh, it is coming around 3.6 k kilo ohms in this case r value is 3.6 kilo ohms so now I'll, for this i'll adjust in d drb so it is 3k 3k and 3k and it is 600 ohms it has become 3.6 on DRB 
Now I'll connect the circuit. You just concentrate here. Here, first I will remove the CRO probes. Two probes on the CRO. Now I'll connect the DRB. The breadboard like this. DRB. Capacitor. I'll connect like this and input for this is it is from the output of PAM that is from the capacitor this is very important point just concentrate here from capacitor output I have taken this wire and connected to the PCB just I will use another color black color wire This black color wire, it is input for demodulation circuit and PAM output I have taken this black color wire from here to here. Now, this breadboard common terminal I make ground. Common terminal. make this common terminal ground terminal now i'll take output across capacitor this is very important point you just see here here you have to take output from these two point where capacitor and resistor end joining here this is the point you have to take the output this common terminal you can connect it here because the entire line becomes ground here emitter output PAM output are taken this black wire and connected to one end of DRB other end of DRB is connected to capacitor that has been grounded I have taken output from this point this point you are getting the demodulated output it is having some distortion no problem it is resembling to sine wave you will get so another channel you can give original message signal for comparison so just connect here it has been grounded and original message signal it is here see here you are connected to this point where the message signal is applied that point you have to connect the probe see here original this is the original message signal and it is a recovered signal you can smooth the waveform smooth out by using DRB fine tuning see here can smooth out first you keep as per design after that you can smooth out so frequency you can calculate and this frequency should match with the frequency of your original message signal I'll calculate the frequency of this message signal record signal and compare with it with the original signal so what is the time is 1 2 2.2 2.2 multiplied by 1 millisecond that means what is the value it is coming I will show you 2.2 into 1 expansion minus milli 1 divided by answer that is you are getting 454 hertz whereas in case we applied is 440 hertz 0.44k it is there that means 440 hertz we applied you are getting 4 54 so it is okay acceptable and one more method you can smooth the waveforms by increasing the samples you can increase the number of samples by increasing the carrier frequency so that your waveform will get smooth out see here increase the number of samples this is the case you can see so this is the completion of PAM experiment that is pulse amplitude modulation
one more time i'll show you with the single probe all the signals i'll take this probe all the wave forums by taking only one probe i'll show you all the wave forums so this probe i'm taking first thing is i'll show you uh, what are the applied the message signal this is the message signal i applied and this is the pulse i applied pulse are carrier signal and pam signal what i'm getting there pam signal pam signal pam signal and it is a demodulation it is a demodulation total four wave forums i think message pulse pam and demodulation out of this experiment thank you